All right, two minute warning to get to your seats, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes and we're gonna get started. There's lots of action going on at the auction booths. Fill up your punch, fill up your ice waters. We'll be ready to start here shortly. Welcome to the 2016 Face Search Benefit Dinner and Silent Auction. It's so wonderful, ladies and gentlemen, to hear the laughter, to hear the friendships, to hear the chatter. But it's time that our New Hope Church staff and this evening get on their way. I'm Joe Comrack, the Executive Director of Faith Search International, and I get to lead a team of people to handle the behind the scenes work as well as help each of our facilitators, our teachers, the evangelists that go out to churches, uh, boardrooms, uh, at golf clubs, uh, to share the gospel of evidence to all people. Uh, we, I, it's my desire that each one of them is successful in their mission, and you're going to get to meet them tonight. And it's our objective to have a great meal tonight, hear some inspiring ministry stories and reports, have some laughs, which is really important to me, and help you learn how you can help Faith Search fulfill their mission. We have enjoyed Faith Search a lot. Our church has partnered with them and continues to deepen our roots with them. They've been fabulous. Uh, we live in a world where ignorance seems to be uh, a badge of honor, and it's wonderful to partner with a ministry that's really helping us to kind of rethink and have greater confidence and conviction about our faith, and I'm sure you'll enjoy tonight uh, in abundance and give an opportunity to keep supporting that. Uh, one of the things I just want to mention is we've got something very exciting going on. We are uh, planning on going to Israel uh, 2017 in February. Uh, very excited about that. I know that they had a trip planned that had to get canceled here a little while ago, and so we're very excited about bringing some of those people along and having an opportunity. If you're interested at all, we've got information here. It's over at the table. We'd love for you to check it out and uh, explore the possibility of going with us. Uh, it's a trip of a lifetime. We're going to have a great time. Dead Sea and Philippi, Caesarea and Jerusalem and all kinds of places that you read in the maps and get to experience for in real life if you get a chance. So keep that in mind. But my real duty up here is to pray for the meal. So I'm going to invite you to bow with me and let's pray and then you can enjoy your meal together. Father, we thank you that you're a God of great generosity and grace. And we thank you for the work that you've done in our lives in Faith Search. We thank you that they're on the cutting edge of trying to allow the light to shine, not only in the light of our world, but also in the hearts of believers to give greater conviction and confidence and clarity about the faith that we have embraced and to be able to communicate that to others in a way that uh, can people can really understand the evidence and the support of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We know it's not blind faith. And we have the opportunity to continue to build our faith on the Lord Jesus, that foundation and rock. And as we gather and hear those stories and testimonies tonight, we pray that you'd stir our hearts to the greater vision, not only as a ministry, but personally, as we begin to engage a world that has got a tremendous slippage when it comes to faith in Christ. We thank you for this wonderful food and this meal that's been provided to, for those who've gone through the problem of Putting it all together and the challenge of accommodating this number of people, we thank you for their efforts and pray your blessing upon it and to our lives, and we give you thanks in Christ's name. Amen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to interrupt your dinner. We're going to try and multitask our dinner hour a little bit here and give some ministry reports, but let's... Uh, Give a little golf clap thank you for the New Hope Church crew here providing great venue and the food prepared. And all the students that are coming in out there earning trips for their missions trip, and it's great that we can uh, see these kids clear tables and serve uh, the way they are so they can have a great uh, trip this summer. I'd like to thank again you guests uh, being here tonight. Uh, our board members, I would take a moment if our board members could stand. Thank you, uh, board of directors. We met Brad, Pastor Brad. Uh, board members, stand, please, and just wave. Thank you, board members. There's many longtime followers of this ministry that's gone for over 36 years uh, as an organization. Thank you. I know you're here to continuously hear story after story after story about what Faith Search is involved with. 
Uh, we have monthly donor friends, friends that are friends of the teachers, and we know that uh, at least the folks that I've asked to, to, to come out to the benefit dinner to hear these stories and also have a chance to give a kind of a bonus gift for how you already give. And then first timers, some friends that were invited. Uh, maybe you got strong arm a little bit by some friends or uh, coaxed into coming to checking out this outfit called Face Search International, but we're glad you're here. And I hope there's none of you here that are in the wrong room looking for the Boy Scout banquet. But if so, again, I'm just so glad you're here. We do live in interesting times. Political hypes right now for presidency. ISIS and world terror continues. And it's become actually now even a fiasco of what restroom we're supposed to use in public places. At Faith Search throughout the years, the speakers and via seminars, uh, we fill in for pastors who are out of town. In other events, we educate, we inform, and we tackle tough questions people have about where we've come from, why we're even here on earth, what's the purpose, and then what happens after we die, and of course, everything in between, because there's many people that want a biblical perspective on various issues. And it's our desire as an organization to understand these times and explore the evidence. Where does the evidence point to? What makes the most sense? Why should I believe what I believe? And if I do, is there any evidence for it? The nice thing about Christianity is, again, I don't believe Christianity because it's a nice concept. I believe it because the evidence says it's the truth. I always hear that, uh, or a quote that I've always liked, if the gospel, or if you read through the gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, if that good news and what you read is not the best thing you've ever heard, you don't get it. And I really want people to get it because there is eternal consequences to missing the mark. One of the initiatives I'm excited about is our new Explore the Evidence Community Breakfast. We actually have one coming up on June 11th. Uh, we're going to explore the archaeological evidence for the reliability of the Bible and, and, and Bible history. And Dr. Don Byerly and Scott Besser, our teachers here, uh, are going to be uh, leading us in that adventure. And this is a way that we don't meet in a church because usually we meet people and meet pastors that want to utilize us in their churches. And we bring great seminars and training and discipleship and worldview topics. And we're trying to engage people, maybe some of our friends who are skeptical, or maybe people that are curious, at golf courses, uh, in, in country clubs, or in hotels to where we can invite people out to start having a discussion. Do we really have to, just because I believe something and have convictions over something, does that make me a bigot because you disagree with me? And I'm, I'm very tired of hearing those kind of things because I believe in Jesus. I love God. And I believe in the Bible somehow makes me an intolerant, terrible person. I want to engage culture in a dialogue, and that's what the Explore the Evidence Community Breakfast are all about. We're utilizing this to bring our friends along to at least have a healthy dialogue. And it just doesn't have to be on the west side where I'm working. I'd love it if you knew somebody from another part of town or another state. These breakfasts can be done in any location as long as you have people and a team of people that are willing to invite some friends out to have a dialogue. And I'd love to have you uh, consider that if you know of anyone that might want to utilize our services anywhere around the country. But that's what I'm excited about, and I get a chance again to lead these people. I pay the bills and make sure things are going great at, work, at the office. I do have my speaking engagements as well, but I've been the executive director for the last four-plus years and have been just enjoying and watching God use this organization to bless so many people and to bless so many churches and so many pastors that are having a tough time out there 